Hot 93.7, Hot Prince number one for hip hop and R and B. Uh, we got DJ Buck on the turntables. <laughs> Only for a split second. A split second. <laughs> I went and got him like, hey, uh, hi Buck, what are you doing right now? Okay, you got some jokes. <laughs> my opposite KG is gonna come right now. And we got comedian yep. Bruce Bruce in the studio. What's cracking? How you doing, baby? Everything is absolutely stupendous. We see each other every what six months, and you you're just getting so thin. Well, no, I'm not. I'm still a big brother, but looking kind of good though. What are you doing, Bruce Bruce? You got a trainer who's retarded, bipolar, something <laughs> with the trainer. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, why, why do you say that? Because you, you don't think nobody's supposed to be fat. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, most trainers like that, you know, but your grandmother think everybody's supposed to eat. You ever notice that? Come in and get yourself to eat, baby. But the trainer, like, you don't need to eat that. Well, I'll tell you something. I, I, I know that me and you, that's what we discuss most is food. Absolutely. We always discuss food. You know the first place I went to when I got here yesterday? Where? Chowder Pot. Yes, I yes, love okay, okay, okay. Chowder you know Pot. Is. Yes. Lynch right there. <laughs> Did you get the Lazy Man Lobster? I, I got everything. I don't know what it was, but the bill was $700. Oh, I my God. <laughs> that's every a lot of money. There, every time I go in there, I look at the menu and go, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they have, they have the, uh, what they call it, after part, what they call it, at 6 o'clock when you go for drinks, happy hour. Yeah. Oh, you went to that? And it was packed. Wow. Oh, he's a jolly good pair. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, I went there with Craig one time. You know Craig? Yeah. And you know, he's kind of a plump fellow. Yeah. And um, we went out to dinner together, and he was like, I'm going to have the Lazy Bear Lobster, but can you bring me four butters with it, please? I need at least four butters. At, at least. At least four Yeah, butters. he always says the same thing every single time. They got, you know, I try to get off the bread, but they got this bread there. Oh, my God. Got a glaze, like a sweet glaze over it. Oh, it's delicious. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I did about six the, loaves. The, the super carb special. Yeah, super <laughs> I did about six loaves. Just, just bring me the bread and everything is cool. Uh, by the way, Bruce Bruce is in town because he's going to be tonight at Funny Bones Comedy Club and Restaurant inside the Buckin Hills Mall. So you might want to go check him out. Uh, showtime's at 7.30 tonight. 7 and 10. 7 and 10 tonight. And tonight and tomorrow. That's it. Tonight and tomorrow. 7 and 10, Friday and Saturday. You've been traveling a lot? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do, baby. Bruce Bruce just said that he might possibly come out with a country western album. I might do it. I mean, because, you know, they, the country boys get it. But I might put some rap into it. I just can't wear the tight jeans. I can't. You know what I'm saying? You see the jeans so tight, you can count the change in their pocket. Oh, my you know? God. Yes. <laughs> like, who's the brothers doing the country western? He does the dance. It's a brother they got now. Uh, got, the, got the figure for the country western. Big belt buckle jeans. Uh, and he can do the rodeo dance stuff. No you know idea. Something? No. Oh, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Didn't hear rap. He rap. Oh yes, I know who you're talking, you know who I'm talking about. about. Yes, he raps country music. Yes, the brothers mixing it up. Yeah, because you know what, he's a he's a very a uh, big hip hop fan. Bruce yeah. Bruce, Bruce Bruce, you know, has been named in hip hop songs. So I mean, he's a you know he's a big hip hop fan. Absolutely. And we were just talking about the ten hottest MCs um, list that just came out from MTV, and yeah. and Bruce Bruce felt as if he wanted to dispute it. Well, you know, I I, I, I don't think young. Uh, was it Gucci Man? Yes. He shouldn't have been on the list. Come on. That's my boy. Agree. I love him. Yeah. It's my boy, but no. Lil Weezy, he should have been on there. Right. You know. He Jay -Z, was number two. Of course, Jay Z. Was number one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's yeah, we had an argument that's about that. For me. He felt Lil Wayne should have been one and Jay Z too. But I think mm. Jay Z should be, well, personally. See, one thing about Lil Wayne, he plays both sides. Like, Lil Wayne is the type of person. If it depends on who he's rapped with before he turn it on. If he rap with somebody me mediocre, he'll just rap something crazy. Mm -hmm. But if he rap a song with Outkast or Jay Z or somebody like that, he he turns it on. Okay. He know he, he know how to flip sides, you know. Well, I'll tell you something. I think number one should have been Jay Z. Number mm -hmm. two, Little Wayne. Number three, Eminem. That's mm -hmm. how I feel. Uh, I think they I left Eminem off the list. I think Eminem should have went second. Really, after Little Wayne and then Jay Z? Yeah. Wow, yeah. Bruce. I think Bruce. so. So did, Eminem is did, a bad did they boy. exclude all the old school hat, cats like Karis one and Rakim and all that? Raekwon was the only one that made the top ten. Well, he's still making records. Well, that yeah, it was the hottest MC in the game right now. Yeah, the old cats was hot. Too. It had nothing to do with like hottest MC of all time because then there would have been a whole different list there. You know what? If it's right now, I I, I honestly say, I would prefer Jay Z to be number one. But if you're gonna put it like that, I would almost have to agree with Lil Wayne. Yeah, it would, you, feel you know, because he's, I mean, he's selling the most <laughs> records, but he is selling the most records right now. Why you make that face? Why you make that face? I'm just saying. And I'm not saying that, I mean, I'm, I'm a bigger Jay-Z fan than Lil Wayne fan. Uh -huh. Are you saying right now? Yeah. I can, I can say that too. I'm you a know? bigger Jay-Z fan than Lil Wayne fan. Okay. I am. am Jay-Z is much respect and much love, you know. But okay. Lil Wayne is super hot right now. Hey, uh, right now we want to give you a pair of passes to check out Bruce Bruce tonight at Funny Bones Comedy Club and Restaurant. Be called or 18. Bruce Bruce will be picking up the phone. 674-9307. 1-800-488-9307. Hey, what do you want to hear? We always let you, we always let you pick what you want to hear. Well, you know, I like to play me something about Outcast. 
Okay. You know, I'm, a, I'm a southern fan. I know. You really yeah. you really dig out cast a lot. Yeah. Okay, so you got some KG? I'm pulling it up now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it a classic or is it a good album? Or is it a mediocre or bad album? What you think, Ski? Mediocre. It's mediocre. He's, now see, I've been saying it's a good album. Okay. Everybody around me, Kid Fresh, DJ Hawk. I'm putting y'all on blast right now. They're saying the album's a classic. I said, dog, it's not a classic. It's a good album. Where's this album in five years, though? Is it in your car? No. Or is it done? It's on the show. Thank you. Thank you! In five days. <laughs> It'll be over. I got Ken saying they bored of it already, but hey. He got a couple of hot records on there. It's a good album. But tell me this. It's not it a classic. Like album. Unbelievable. I heard it's hot. Good I album, heard. though. Not it's a good. classic. No. Right. Okay. I haven't had a classic in a long time. KG, shut up. But it's what it is. <laughs> am, I, is it, am I wrong? You're, you're right. She's just a Jay-Z fan. Die hard. Yeah. Right? See? No, no it's, not, it's, not, it's not even just that. It's just, I think that we need to uplift the East. Can we uplift the East, hey, please? Hey, you know, I'm I said it's a good Let's album. Let's just put a smile on our faces and accept album. what it is. <laughs> classic means forever. All Eyes on Me is a classic. Period. Outcast is Stank On You is a classic. Period. Yeah. Chronic 2000. Is a classic. classic. See, Bruce we're on the same wavelength right now. Bruce, Bruce, your album is going to be a classic <laughs> when it comes out. My comedy album, the first one, is a classic. Yeah. See? You know what you should do? You should, you know, bring, next time you come through, bring mm -hmm. some of those here. Let's, let's give them away. I bring them. I, bring I would them. love that. Okay. Because everybody would definitely want those. Let me ask you this. You know, by me being a southern boy, you like a uh, young Jeezy? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You do? Yes. You think he's cool? I'm turned on by him. All right. It's my boy. We know him. I'm turned on by him. Yeah? Yeah. Right, so what's the fat guy going to say? <laughs> Yo, stop calling him the fat guy. Just because you lost a little weight, Bruce I know, Bruce. I know, I know you still Just because guy. you, you lost a little weight. You're a fatter guy, and you think you all that, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. My man is bigger than you. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, man. <laughs> Let me tell you. You know, I'll be honest with you. Jeezy called me to do um, a video, which yeah. is last year when I was here. Okay. I put on for my city. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to tell you what's ironic about it. I was here. I couldn't do it. I was doing the funny ball here in Connecticut. He did it in the area. Well, he, not the area. He did the exact building I grew up in. Wow. In the hood. The exact door. I don't know why he picked that spot. I don't know why. That's crazy. Is that crazy? Yeah. Up the street, the whole church, right there. Wow. And you would have so, felt right at home. Right at home. You was had, here with us. I had to leave there real quick. Yeah. Because it's in the hood. They don't play. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, tonight you won't be in the hood. You'll be uh, at Funny Bone Comedy Club in uh, the Buckland Hills Buckland Mall. Hill Mall. It's real nice. And it is really nice over there. a coach store and a Gucci store there. Yeah, they do. Yeah. It's I nice. Went, uh, Hello, how are you? <laughs> You're selling pocketbooks, okay? <laughs> Don't act like you got your credit. You are selling bags here. Yeah. Uh, so tell me about this. You got a TV show coming up? It's called Bruce Bruce Bounty Hunters. Really? It's a comedy. Well, it's, I'm it's assuming. It's stupid. I wrote it, directed it, produced it. Uh, if you like Reno 911, you're going to love this. This is stupid. When is it coming on TV? This fall. We can't coming on this fall. Get ready for the Bruce Bruce Bounty Hunter show because we catch nobody. Which wow. show is that going to be on? We don't even know. Shopping HBO. Store. We want to go. No. We really want. We got two. Comedy Central and HBO. We want to go to HBO because we can kind of get loose with it. Right, yeah. In other words, you can curse. Right, right. <laughs> you know, but we're not really doing it. You can be on right before Big Love. Right, right. My favorite show. But we're show. not really doing the curse, but we just want to get loose with it because we're going to do a lot of scenes in strip clubs and. Well, we go in to pick up the girls and they can come Probably out. doing that. That they type come stuff. Out after, uh, so, it, wait, in, your, in this TV show, you're a bounty hunter? I am a bounty hunter. I have a, I have, I'm a bounty hunter. I'm the head bounty hunter. We have a bounty hunter. Her name is Lizzie. Okay. A dude named Kiki. And a mean bounty hunter and a sexy bounty hunter. And we have a bounty hunter named L.W. He's a good old boy. So we kind of touching on everybody. He's like Lizzie. Boss Hog? No, he's just country. I ain't going in there. I can guarantee you. I ain't oh, going okay. in there by myself. Like that. So. All right. So um, so you picked these people because yeah. it's your show, right? Absolutely. So are there some of your favorite comedians? No, it's not even comedians at all, but one. And Black Boy played a mean bounty hunter. He just looked mean all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, these are other actors that's just playing the role. This guy, L.W., stands for Love Women. Wow. And he's a good old boy. You know, but he's he's just cool and he just wanted to don't take no junk off nobody, but scared of everything. Wow. Okay. Well, we're looking forward to it. Okay. Tell us when it's going to come on TV. Absolutely. Call us and let us know. I would definitely let you do that. And let you and your big boyfriend. Oh, shut up.